Where did you deploy to? Iraq too, Afghanistan. Oh. You? Stateside. I kind of felt like I could do more on the front, but those were my orders. I thought it would be kind of interesting to do a story about people who had served and had gone through whatever you want to call the hell of war uh, and who were making it. Where did you two serve? Iraq. <clears throat> two tours in Afghanistan for me. You know, I have great respect for people who serve our country in the military. And uh, often when we hear the stories of people who suffer PTSD from the very difficult, if not horrible experiences that they have. She didn't make it back? No, sir. A need often to be around other people who have gone through similar experiences so they don't have to speak about it because it would be very difficult for them to speak about it to people who hadn't experienced the same thing. That's right. You've been on the front lines in combat. Take your side. That's all I'm saying. I already have. The majority of my 20s, this country has been in a war. You can't help but know what's going on with our soldiers and people that, that protect this country. She never came back. She came back in my back. You know, you, you read about what's going on and you talk to people and but that wasn't necessarily in preparation for this I've you know just just spending time with people and getting to know people and being aware of what's going on right now I don't want to talk about it anymore I've already said too much so the cop pulls him over and says license and registration. So I say I don't have a driver's license. And the cop says that's against the law. So I tell him I'll get a driver's license when the state issues me a marriage license. I, you know, I was taken by you know trying to create a world uh, where not only had people served, they had been the people who served uh, during uh, the period of don't ask, don't tell. Bill, I'm, you know, I'm introducing you. You know, this one we're getting to know the characters. Like I need to have make sure I have enough. You know, there's a line in the, uh, in the piece when uh, a gay, gay man who was a nurse said no one asked for his driver's license when he was pulling them into a medevac to take them out of harm's way. When he was serving in Iraq, no soldier asked for his driver's license when he was being hauled out in a medevac. The same in Afghanistan. I think this is probably an underappreciated group in our country who gave their lives and gave their time you know, for our country, were asked to serve in silence. Many of them did serve in silence. Then he asked the cop if he served and where. And when the officer hesitated, Arnold said, my lover, that's me, did, and now he's paralyzed from a roadside bomb. So I, I was very interested in what I would consider a kind of understated exploration of these, these people's lives. Then he asks, you want to see my scars that earn me three purple hearts? So Arnold starts unzipping oh his coveralls. An officer looks at him for a second, throws his hands in the air, and walks away. <laughs> More of that. You are bad. <laughs>